welcome to the first class on technical computing for mechanical engineers. At the end of this class, you will know what computational modeling is and how it is done. I will also introduce you to a software tool which we will be using throughout this course. I'm sure everyone here has played or heard the game Need for Speed. The cars in this game behave like real world cars and this is an example of computational modeling. The idea is to represent a real-life process using mathematical equations that can be solved using a computer. These equations are mostly derived from fundamental principles like conservation of mass and energy. Just to refresh your memory, the principle of conservation of mass is that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay, so how do you represent this principle using a math equation? Here's an example. Let us consider water in a tank. Let us assume that initially there is 5 kilograms of water in this tank. Now, here's a pipe that feeds water into this tank at the rate of 5 kilograms per second. And let us assume that there is a hole in this tank and the water is leaking through this hole at 1 kg per second. Now, if you ask the question, what happens to the mass in this tank? The answer is very simple. The mass of water in this tank is going to go up at the rate of 4 kg per second. Now, to make it more interesting, let us use variables instead of numbers. In this example, I am going to refer to the mass that goes into the system, which is the tank, as m in, and the mass that exits out of the system as m out. Now, the rate of change of mass in the system can be represented as the mass coming in minus the mass that's going out. From calculus, we know that rate of change of a variable is represented as d by dt of that variable. And hence, this principle can be represented by the following equation. dm dt is equal to m in minus m out. This is how you create a simple math model. Now, in the same example, let us consider that the water in the tank is at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius and the water that's going into the tank is at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Now, can this mass balance equation tell us how the temperature in the tank is going to change with time? No, absolutely not. This is because we need one more additional equation to get the temperature information. This equation is referred to as the energy equation. That being said, this brings us to an important concept in modeling, that is, to get more information from a system, we need to be solving more equations which makes the model more complex.